think he represents a TV title champion almost perfect. His style, the way he and he carries it for a long time. By the way, he's he enjoys it as an extended reign as TV champion around this time. What'd you think about the pairing of him and Dundee together? Dundee got heat. You know that get up. I like ball. it. Yeah, yeah, it worked. <clears throat> it absolutely worked. As you might expect, uh, you're working with Regal. Grabbed uh, the attention of our listeners, and we have a number of questions about this event. Uh, up first, faithful listener Nick Lenz wants to know: How did you feel about going 30 minutes with Stephen Regal at Super Brawl Four? It was a, it was a test. Yeah. You know, 30 minutes is a long time, and it was pretty solid. You know, with him, it's when he gets control of you, he tortures you and he punishes you. And it's, it's like, you're, you know, you're not out of his grasp ever for very long. And he's not out of yours for very long. It wasn't like there was a lot of stopping and starting and rolling out and rolling in. Once it got started, we stayed locked up pretty much for the 30 minutes. It was a true test of uh, where my cardio was. That's for sure. That's for sure. Yeah. John Gardner has a great question. He said, what's something new that you learned from wrestling William Regal? Did you have a sense? And did you have a sense of how special he was going to be? Was there something new that you learned from wrestling William Regal? Yeah. He took things that you normally would see and you had in your mind. Okay. This is coming up, you know, and I, and I don't have the right example, but he would just, the ins and outs and the chain wrestling were just things that you'd never seen before. And you couldn't counter it because it wasn't what you thought was coming. If that makes okay. any sense. Yeah. He kept you guessing on the chain wrestling side of things. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, it's cause it's just a different style. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you take an arm and you grab an arm bar on a guy, there's American ways of getting out of it. And there's, European ways of getting out of it. If you're not familiar with that style, you don't know what they're doing. Right. Uh, and then his follow-up is, did you have a sense of how special that he was going to be? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, you can, you can tell a guy in the ring. He's just, if he's meant to be there, the guy started wrestling probably when he was 16 wrestling at carnivals and wrestling grown men, you know, it's, it's, it's a whole different world you know, back then, you know, it was, it was a uh, rough way to make a living. Our, uh, our buddy Dylan wants to know where does Regal rank for Arn as far as in-ring workers in the history of the business? Oh gosh. I would certainly say top 10. Okay. Don't know where he fits in that, that, you know, that 10, but he's in the top 10, I would think. Uh, Billy Sansegral has an awesome hypothetical here for you on if you and Regal would have been a long-term tag team, how successful do you think you could have been? We're still the champions. <laughs> They're still That's, carrying gold, Billy. At 65, we'd still be the tag champions. <laughs> uh, good. 